Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a buzz-worthy topic in the world of cryptocurrencies, Ripple. Have you heard about it but not quite sure what it is or how it works? Then, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explain everything you need to know about Ripple, its purpose, and how it operates. So, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get started. Ripple is a real-time gross settlement system cryptocurrency and remittance network created by Ripple Labs Incorporated. The 2012 released Ripple platform enables tokens that represent fiat cash, cryptocurrencies, commodities, or other types of value like frequent flyer miles or mobile minutes. It is based on a distributed open source protocol. With no chargebacks, Ripple claims to offer secure, fast, and almost free worldwide financial transactions of any size. The ledger makes use of the XRP coin, which is used locally. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs and two of its executives in December 2020 for selling XRP coins, which the SEC deemed to be unregistered securities. Jed McCaleb came up with the idea for Ripple, which Arthur Brito and David Schwartz created. Ryan Fugger, a financial service that had made its debut in 2005, then approached them. Their goal was to use a worldwide network to offer safe payment choices to members of an online community. OpenCoin, a system created by Fugger, would eventually become Ripple. In order to enable financial institutions to transfer money with minimal wait times and fees, the business has developed its own cryptocurrency called XRP. The business announced in 2013 that banks were interested in implementing its payment system. By 2018, more than 100 institutions had joined. However the majority of them merely utilized X-Current, Ripple's messaging platform, bypassing the XRP coin owing to its volatility issues. It has been suggested by representatives of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, whose market dominance is being threatened by Ripple, that the inability of Ripple and other blockchain technologies to scale has limited their use to bilateral and intra-bank transactions. In 2018, a Ripple official said that, we began with the traditional blockchain, which we like. However, the bank's response is that you cannot put the entire globe on a blockchain. A distributed database known as a common shared ledger, which houses data on all Ripple accounts, is used by Ripple. The network is run by a network of independent computers that compare their transaction data, according to Chris Larson, who spoke at the Stanford Graduate School of Business. In principle, these servers may be owned by banks or market makers. For rapid payment transmission and delivery of payment notice, Ripple instantaneously verifies accounts and balances. There are no chargebacks and payments are irrevocable. The consensus verification system that powers Ripple has continued to receive the majority of its code contributions from Ripple Labs. In 2014, despite worries about security and a lack of regulation, the protocol was allowed entry to the U.S. financial system. In May 2018, Ripple was the target of a class action lawsuit that claimed the company led a conspiracy to generate hundreds of millions of dollars through unregistered sales of its XRP coins. The corporation produced billions of coins out of thin air, according to the lawsuit, and then made money by selling them to the general public in what is basically a never-ending initial coin offering. On December 21, 2020, the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs. CEO Brad Garlinghouse, and co-founder Chris Larson over the alleged sale of unregistered securities. The SEC argued in the complaint that XRP was a security rather than a commodity since it was created and distributed in a controlled manner by Ripple Labs, and was not being used by financial institutions for the purposes that were promoted. According to the SEC, Ripple executives sold 14.6 billion XRP units for more than $1.38 billion in order to finance the business and benefit themselves. Garlinghouse responded by criticizing the SEC and saying Ripple Labs will defend itself in court. On December 28, Coinbase delisted XRP. On December 30, a shareholder filed a class action lawsuit, alleging that Coinbase sold XRP tokens knowing they were unregistered securities. The Token Safe Harbor Proposal 2.0, published on April 13 by SEC Commissioner Hester M. Pierce, is intended to give initial development teams a three-year time period within which they can facilitate participation in and the continued development of a functional or decentralized network, exempt from the registration provisions of the federal securities laws, provided certain conditions are met. 
In the February 2014 issue of MIT Technology Review, Ripple Labs was recognized as one of the 50 smartest companies of 2014 for developing the Ripple Protocol, RTXP, and the Ripple Payment, Exchange Network. According to a scientific study by two academics from Stanford and Stockholm University that looked at the generation of money from the standpoint of energy consumption and the macroeconomic level, maintaining a Ripple server is equivalent to the energy requirements of running an email server. And that's a wrap for today's video on Ripple. We hope you found this information useful and informative. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.